It was definitely a night to remember for more than 1,200 Korean pop fans last Friday to see Korean American artists San E, J Park, and A Lee for the Unite the Mic World Tour at Massey Hall. Known as Rap Genius, Sani is a hip hop rapper and has been nominated for nine music awards in South Korea so far. Singer A Lee went from YouTube artist to Korean pop idol when she made her stage debut in 2012 and has received at least 15 awards in her entire singing career. J Park is a B boy, a singer, and rapper, and is even the producer of his own company called AOMG. But it wasn't just a concert that fans had the chance to go to. J Park fan Sandra Lopez says she was a VIP ticket holder and got to meet the three artists in a fan signing event. Well, today I'm looking forward to the energy and how much the K-pop community has grown in Toronto from what it once maybe was five years ago. Because back then it was a really small, now it just keeps growing and having momentum. And I find it's, it, it's a great thing for the multiculturalism in Canada. And back then, reaching out to the English-speaking demographic was still unheard of. But even with the language barrier in the lyrics, it didn't stop the fans from reaching out to their artists and vice versa. With the DJ kicking off the show to get the party started, Sani was about getting the crowd pumped up with his track, Where Did You Sleep? Followed by his latest track, Body Language, which fans sang to. He also teased the crowd with a new song that he has in the works, but he wasn't ready to give us the full details just yet. Instead, he was more than willing to give fans, or a uh, fan, a gift. 18 year old Lai came from Montreal after her friend got tickets for the concert, but she didn't expect for Sani to call her up to the stage and serenade her with his 2010 track, Who Loves It. Do you have a cell phone with you? She got a picture of somebody else on the screen. Not me. But I know it's gonna be me after this, right? Uh, first he gave me a rose, a pink rose. Um, and then there was also uh, oh, a, an album signed. Like he signed my name, which he kind of spelled a few times until like, you know, we kind of, uh, I kind of wrote it again. <laughs> we also took a selfie that most probably all everyone saw. So tell me from your perspective, how did it happen? Oh my god, I was so surprised because like he was suddenly asking for like a fan to go up and then but then I wasn't, you know, I wasn't that into it because it was actually like my first time seeing San E. Like, yeah, I heard about his song and everything, but I wasn't, um, you know, that much a big fan. So I cheered a lot with my friends um, next to me. But then then he, he kind of picked me. I was so surprised. Like, I, I, I basically blanked out. Like, I was so excited. I just, I just couldn't, like, believe he actually chose me. She also said she was actually there to see singer A. Lee, who took over the stage after Sani for the hour and rocked the house from the moment she hit the stage. A. Lee not only showed off her diva power as she performed her latest track, Don't Touch Me, she showed off her strong ability to sing and dance when she followed up with a cover of Ariana Grande's Problem. She even had a standing ovation and fans chanting her name for more. Fans turned on their phone lights to wave to the music when she turned down the tempo for the next song, which Ailey said she cried while practicing in the studio, and it was called Singing Got Better. It was hard to follow after an act like Ailey, who dominated the stage. That is, until Jay Park had fans screaming and chanting for him before he got on stage. He started off with his 2010 track, Know Your Name, before picking up a cover of Ace Hood's Body to Body. Female fans were swooning and singing along to his track of Girlfriend. Jay also joked with fans to give more relaxed atmosphere. Singing and dancing at the same time isn't an easy thing to do, but these artists were relentless in their vocals and their performance. Rookie rapper Ugly Duck also stood on stage with Jay for a performance of Rebirth 2014. The screams were loud throughout Massey Hall, but these fans say it was worth losing their voices for. Oh, it was amazing. When Jay Park took off his shirt, I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> I was personally there for Jay Park, but I looked into the other artists as well, and I love them all. Toronto is the only city confirmed for this concert so far, but if you didn't get a chance to go to Unite the Mic, be on the lookout for more concert opportunities for K-pop artists coming to your city. Donna Sevilla, Radio Humber News.